Have you heard? Kushkan is headed to Tampa this August 6th and 7th. Network with more than 7,500 hemp and cannabis professionals. Sample products from more than 300 brands and take in over 70 educational sessions. Do you work in cannabis or hemp? Kushkan Tampa is the only place you can meet directly with the nation's largest distributors and retailers. Get tickets and learn more at kush.com forward slash kushkan. Plus, listeners of this show can save 50% on tickets with promo code podcast. Again, that's kush.com forward slash kushkan. See you there. When it comes to just arthritis, the world, or just our country, has well over 50 million arthritis sufferers. It's a, it's a huge issue in our culture. And there's just this simple plant that if you rub it on, it will actually help reduce inflammation and reverse the effects. So what we also want to do today is we want to give you one for free. What? What did he say? Yes, we're going to give you one for free. We Welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast, the show that inspires, promotes, and gives you a daily dose of inspiration from the people who have used cannabis to change their lives in extraordinary ways. Here's your host, Justin Benton. Welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant with so many names and how it's helping people in so many extraordinary ways. Well, today we are kind of going old school. Now, if this is the first time of you hearing this podcast, you're going to get a lot of great information that might blow your mind and might wonder why you haven't heard this and why isn't on every billboard, bus, commercial, everywhere you look, why isn't the whole world talking about this? Um, well, we're just ahead of the curve, let's say, and now you're being enlightened as to what the truth is that there's a plant out there that helps people with arthritis and inflammation. And get this. It doesn't have side effects. There's no pills. There's no crazy, you know, after effects or taking things to offset the other things. There's a plant out there just as simple as when we think of aloe vera, that little leaf that we crack in half and we pour that that perfect liquid right on our sunburned skin that helps soothe and ease us. Well, there's a plant out there that does the exact same thing with pain and inflammation which is what arthritis is primarily made up of. Of course, we're talking about this miracle plant by so many names, whether it's cannabis, whether it's hemp, sativa, you name it. There's a zillion different ways to to call this plant. But at the end of the day, it is a miracle plant that helps our bodies combat these complicated ailments and diseases that we've developed by basically eating like crap and watching too much TV and Netflix and not drinking enough water and we, uh, when you give your body all these toxins and these, you know, deposits that are in water that we drink and the food that we eat, our bodies just can only take so much. Our livers can only do so much, especially as we age. If we're not taking care of ourselves the way we know we should, things just tend to happen. Inflammation, deposits in our system happen. And now we have all of these different types of ailments and diseases and fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis and neuropathy that come up because our bodies can't combat the toxic environment that we live in. But thank the Lord that there's a miracle plan out there that can help reset our bodies, which is called homeostasis or balance, and reduce that inflammation and get those hands working again and those feet working again from severe arthritis, whatever type of arthritis name they put on there for that diagnosis. And we always say, you can believe the diagnosis if you choose to, uh, but you can never have to believe the prognosis because nobody can truly measure each individual person's spirit and their drive to clean up their diet, to clean up their health, to take back control of their health. And when you're doing the right things, your body will do the right things and help you as well. So we're gonna talk about this miracle plant and how it helps with specifically arthritis. And how it first got started for me, uh, my journey obviously was when I was looking for a solution for my son who had developed a severe regressive, meaning he was healthy, then he wasn't, um, um, diagnosis of autism. And we found this miracle plant in the raw form, just like juicing, 
that helped clean up the fog and help his body detoxify all the heavy metals and the pesticides and the things that he had come into contact with so he could start to live a healthy and happier life. Well, after the miracle happened for us, we decided to put up a sign. We had an extra office suite and just said, hey, we're going to pay it forward. 101's the highway out here in California. It's a dot org. We'll just make it, give it away, help people. And that's all we thought. That's all we thought about it. But lo and behold, people started coming up our stairs. We had a second story suite. So people with no elevator had to come upstairs. And one of the very first people that ever came up the stairs, came up the stairs with her husband, this sweet lady, and she could barely walk. And her husband was helping her up the stairs. And she came in and she said she saw a documentary on how CBD or hemp was helping with arthritis and she was at her ropes end. Let me tell you, she was not in good shape. She had tried everything the doctors could possibly prescribe. She'd been on drugs, all types of opioids, anything you could imagine for years and years and years with no relief. In fact, she had some serious addiction problems with the, with the, the, the pills that were being um, prescribed to her. She was in a very, very dark, bad place. Well, she came up those stairs and she asked for our oil. Now, we have compassionate programs that we give 50% off to anybody with a severe complex ailment. Like what she said, for the first time, I think, in my life, I, I started to understand what she said. She was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Now, I had heard a little bit of what's called RA from Phil Nicholson, the golfer, who had some of those same issues. I remember one time hearing he, he was worried his golf career might have to stop because he couldn't literally get out of bed because he was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And then lo and behold, he uh, stopped eating as many cheeseburgers and his golf game got back on, on track. And of course he signed a gazillion dollar deal with uh, a pharmaceutical company to, to, uh, for RA, but that's beside the point. So as she comes upstairs and she says, I want to try this oil. And she does, she comes back like three or four days later and she's like, oh my God, it worked. It worked. My hands feel better. I don't have the pain, the inflammation. I can't believe it worked. I love it. I love it. I love it. Her and her husband. And they, I saw them just a couple of weeks ago. This was years and years ago. So this is one of my very first stories of me seeing how this miracle plant could not only help my son uh, recover from a severe regressive autism diagnosis, but how it could help with a complicated ailment like rheumatoid arthritis by just introducing this oil and seeing what it does. So today we're gonna to talk about hemp. We're gonna talk about raw hemp, which is called CBDA primarily, and how it helps the body reverse the effects of rheumatoid arthritis and all the other types of arthritis. I bet you there's dozens and dozens of names they give them these days. But again, arthritis is just a, a buildup of over time of, of basically, you know, things that shouldn't be in your body happening. Some of, there is some hereditary, uh, predisposition to, to arthritis. But when you are taking care of yourself and you're taking raw hemp oil and introducing it as a part of your daily regimen, uh, the stories we've heard are in the thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people that have had incredible stories. And when it comes to just arthritis, the world, or just our country has well over 50 million arthritis sufferers. It's a, it's a huge issue in our culture. And there's just this simple plant that if you rub it on, it will actually help reduce inflammation and reverse the effects. So what we also want to do today is we want to give you one for free. What? What did he say? Yes, we're going to give you one for free. We are on a mission to heal the world. And yes, we do have some other products that you can buy that help fund our mission to continue to reach more and more people. Our goal is to reach 1 billion people by 2025. We're well on our way, but every dollar that you spend with us helps us reach another person out there to help educate them about this miracle plant and how it helps. So it, uh, the way to get your free gift, and actually we're giving you two free gifts, is just go to www.freemiracleplant.com. That's right, www.freemiracleplant.com, and you'll see one of the buttons there you push on and you can get one of these free roll-ons. So these little roll-ons you roll on right wherever the pain is. It also works with bug bites, rashes, scratches, you name it. But it's wonderful for pain, especially if you have arthritis in the hands, which is where a lot of people get arthritis. Uh, it's, it's one of those things, right? Just like aloe vera and sunburn. When you roll on the raw hemp oil and you're like, oh my God, 10 minutes later, my hands don't hurt as much. 
You've got to be kidding me. And the best part about it is not only does it work, there aren't side effects. You know what I mean? You're not doing damage to your body. You're not hurting your liver. You're not worrying about, okay, what are these harsh chemicals and toxins and additives going to be doing for this short-term relief? It's a fixing the problem, reducing the inflammation. It's a long-term solution. Just like eating healthy and drinking lots of good, clean water, our bodies know how to heal. We just need to give our bodies the things that, that it needs to do its job. And this is the best thing out there for reducing inflammation and reversing the effects of arthritis. And you're hearing it here first, and we want to give it away to you. Proof is in the pudding. All we ask is when it works is to go leave us a Google review and tell someone else about that same link freemiracleplant.com so they can try it and keep paying the miracle forward. So again, my name is Justin Benton. I'm the owner and founder of themiracleplant.org. Uh, so happy to be here on this podcast with you. I have my co-host, Dan, the man Hummiston, my mom, who's head of research and development, brilliant woman who helped inspire a lot of these holistic healing practices that we do here uh, in my life, Janet Benton Gaylord. So welcome, Dan and Janet. Let's get off. Let's start talking about the miracle plant and how it helps with arthritis. Uh, yes, I was excited to talk about this. Uh, just in the people we work with, the most common problem people come in with is still pain, although stress and anxiety and sleep have popped up with our current kind of crazy country right now. Uh, but again, too, the most common reason people come in to get help with our product is pain. And the most common sort of pain they come in for is arthritis. And so there's any... I just thought I'm going to get a little bit into the weeds, as Justin calls it, a little bit of researchy talk. Um, but the two types of arthritis that we see are kind of distinct. And it's fascinating when you start looking at arthritis, there are 200 types of arthritis. It is just a huge issue. And so we hear about arthritis, but we don't realize things like fibromyalgia and lupus, besides all the osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis that are the most common. And so there's literally 54 million people in America have arthritis. And I'm sure it's probably an undercount because you'd probably have to go to a doctor before they'd notice it or, or track that. And then over half of them, too, uh, the arthritis is so severe, it interferes with their life functions. You know, being able to get out of bed in the morning, dress themselves, feel comfortable, walk up and down stairs, go to work, sleep at night. And so it's not a minor thing. It's a major problem that we have in our society. And there really haven't been a lot of good solutions. And so today I'm going to do a brief overview of kind of like the signs and treatments I have now for arthritis and then talk about how the CBDA provides benefits directly to arthritis. Uh, and so one of the real common arthritis is that we work with the, the RA or rheumatoid. Uh, the real concern was that with that one is that it's very, very painful. Um, it's an autoimmune disorder. And if you've listened to us talk before, autoimmune disorders are caused by inflammation. And so it is by being autoimmune, it goes beyond just like your fingers are stiff in the morning. It literally affects the lining of our joints. And then it can continue to uh, affect the body, including uh, our skin, our eyes, our lungs, our heart, our blood vessels. And it leads to bone erosion and, and joint in deformity. Like we see people, your hands are warm and swollen joints and your joints are no longer where they are, where they used to be or where they should be. And so it's a very, very debilitating condition. And there just aren't at this point uh, huge solutions for it. Uh, this is the kind, too, where you have it, the joint stiffness is why it's worse in the morning. Uh, you're tired. Uh, it can lead to loss of appetite, fever, infections when you start having an immune system. It starts in really small joints, like where your fingers and attach you know, to your hand and your toes attach to your foot. But then it can spread to your wrists, knees, ankles, elbows, hips, and shoulders. And 40% of the people with rheumatoid arthritis, it goes beyond the joints, even all those joints we have, to things like our skin and the eyes and our lungs and heart. And so it's a very, and also our kidneys and bone marrow. So it's a, an inflammatory autoimmune disease that just continues to weaken the body. And some people have like flares where it gets worse and then they feel a little better. And again, too, like many diseases we have, we don't have any good understanding of exactly what causes it and how to stop it. Um, it is more likely in women. Uh, and it begins kind of in middle age. 
which is different from the osteoarthritis, which is degeneration from wear and tear. Whereas the, again, too, the rheumatoid, which is more difficult, is autoimmune or inflammation. Uh, some things that cause real obvious things that can increase your chances are smoking is a huge one. And then a second really big factor is carrying excessive weight, which puts all the textile strain on all parts of your body. And uh, as we've heard about through the pandemic, we're all gaining weight. And just America in general varies between 37% up to 40% of us are clinically obese. So it's not that we're just like a little chubby or unhappy with how we look in our clothes, but we are just really pretty big. And you see that I've noticed like in Target, they now have big, much bigger models um, that they put the clothes on or whatever there. So it's become a real huge health issue and it definitely relates then to the, especially the rheumatoid arthritis. And again, too, you can end up with things, infections, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, lymphomas, which is a cancer. So again, too, it's not just the same as your joints get a little sore and tired as we get older. This is an immune disorder that is very hard to uh, find a good treatment or um, solution for. At this point, there's no cure. The most common things people recommend are NSAIDs, uh, non, I won't even say it. Anyway, it's a, a steroids and it causes digestive issues. And they also have steroids like prednisone that can really weaken your immune system and make you susceptible to other infections. Uh, they have a range of drugs. None of them seem to, at this point, offer a real solution. And so you can have like physical therapy or assistive devices or surgery where they're fusing joints, replacing joints. Um, and then the treatment to control pain, again, leads into many different kinds of medications that also can have side effects. So anyway, that's a, a huge issue that we have. And again, to remember with this one, the main problem is inflammation. And then the osteoarthritis is, like I said, it's degenerative. So it's just kind of that wear and tear on our body. And especially I see a lot of guys that like were in construction industry or doing really heavy lifting and constantly kind of abusing their bodies. And so it shows up that way. You can even show up with people that have like typing, I guess I used to call it typing, but computer jobs where you're constantly using your fingers for things like that. Um, and again, too, uh, with that, too, the same results or treatment options, you know, the NSAIDs that can cause stomach ups, upset and bleeding, uh, they're trying Cymbalta, an antidepressant. I mean, again, too, there just isn't an answer. And so they recommend physical therapy, occupational therapy, joint replacement. Uh, and so, again, too, those are all pretty invasive things. With I talk to people who have had those. Again, too, it doesn't really solve the problem. Um, it's just a kind of a desperation move if you're actually in there replacing your joints. And so, again, too, just seeing those two things that have so much pain and inflammation and side effects and no solutions, uh, which is a lot of the time why we see so many people in the office because they have gone to the doctors and done all the different things. And I'm sure they work for some people, but a large percent of people we see come in because those things aren't working or their side effects are just too much for them to handle. And so uh, our recommendations too, if you, if you want to protect your health, is just to start with some basic things, for instance, uh, just start with diet changes. And again, too, work on not being overweight. It adds so many health issues and strain on your body and especially strain on our bones and joints, uh, which can, especially with osteoarthritis, make it worse. Um, and then just really basic things. And I know everything in our society right now is controversial, <laughs> but sadly. But I always tell people when I'm working with them on their diets that if you're healthy and you're happy with how you are, then go ahead and just eat whatever you want. But if your body's telling you very clearly that something is wrong, which it is with arthritis, then it's time to be open to some other changes and at least till the problems are gone. And one of the easiest ones, especially now with a wide variety of products available, is just go plant-based. Um, meats and cheeses and things are very hard to digest, take a lot of energy from your body. And a lot of the enzymes that our bodies use for repair and so if you use them all for digestion, they're not there to help you repair your arthritis. And then sadly, the uh, meats and cheeses and everything, they cause inflammation. And again, too, that's the last thing you want with arthritis. Uh, another really basic thing you can add to your body too is just juicing. It's just a very simple organic fruits and juices. Drink it in the morning. 
because all disease starts with digestive problems and then your body can't break the food down into the workable units it needs, then you start having problems in other areas. And so juicing is a real simple one that we see great results with. And then just again to another real simple one is just like, uh, don't combine your carbs with your proteins, which is because they don't work well together. And like in the morning, don't be having that huge meat and cheese and egg breakfast. And so again, too, if you want more information at askjanet.org, you can, I can give you more in-depth dietary changes. But again, to diet things, it is hard for us to change our diets and it takes a lot longer. It's not an instant cure, it's just working toward a solution. And especially if you have very painful arthritis, you don't wanna wait around and try all these things. And so luckily uh, we do have other options. Uh, one last one I'll mention too, just in general is exercise. Uh, it can be walking, yoga, stretching. If you're into going to the gym or running, exercise really helps with arthritis. And another area is just relaxation and stress reduction. Uh, turn off the TV, talk to your friends, meditate, relax. And those are just general lifestyle changes you can make. But if you're really in a lot of pain and you want to fast track uh, getting better and dealing with arthritis in depth, uh, our CBDA from hemp is really one of the the only solution I found out there that works deeply and long term. And if you've followed our company at all, you'll see that we are organic, holistic. Uh, our plants are processed, cold processed, so they remain as the plant made them. And so in the hemp world, that is called CBDA, and that's what the plant makes. And then the majority of companies heat it into CBD. And just like our fresh squeezed orange juice, we always use to describe ours. Uh, the more you heat it and process it, the more you go from like a juice box ending up like a tang or Kool-Aid as you take more and more benefits out of the plant. And so again, too, just think raw CBDA. It's going to be healthier for you and it's going to work so much better. Uh, the CBDA literally goes to every part of our body, every cell in our body, and goes far beyond what we call the endocannabinoid system that the CBD goes to. And we always mention, too, that the research, international research, for over 60 years from one of our major doctor, Mishulam, uh, reported the research showed CBDA it was 10 to 100, up to 1,000 times more powerful than the heated CBD. And then applying CBD to um, arthritis, as I mentioned with rheumatoid arthritis, the basic problem there is inflammation, as it's autoimmune. And then all arthritis have in common pain and pain is a combination of inflammation and nerve damage. And so luckily, uh, CBDA, the first thing it does is called balance or homeostasis. So it balances our immune system. Our immune system is inflammation versus anti-inflammation or anti-inflammatory. So that the CBDA literally helps balance the entire level of inflammation in our body, making it much more direct and powerful uh, than just taking you know, a pill that's an anti-inflammatory or things like that. Plus it doesn't have the side effects. Uh, and just a quick note too, uh, inflammation um, is dealt with with all the medications like the NSAIDs and the steroids through our COX-2, it's another receptor in our head. And if you've ever taken like the NSAIDs and the Tylenols and all those things, you often get digestive problems. And it's the main reason people stop taking them because it can cause like ulcers and bleeding ulcers and stomach upset and things. And that's because the drugs actually stop the communication from the COX-2 to our whole digestive system. And that's what's causing all those problems. And then the CBDA does not do that. It just works with the COX-2 inhibitor, but it just works with the pain. It does not block anything. So you don't have the, the side effects from all those drugs. And every so often you'll see some of those drugs being taken off the market because they cause too many problems. Um, so again, too, if you're on the different drugs that are causing your stomach upset, you'll be excited to try CBDA because it does not cause those problems. Uh, so this master homeostasis or balance works with our immune system to help with in inflammation. It also works with our uh, endocrine system, which balances our anti um, oxidants, and we read about those, they're the ones that stop, like rust, I call it, or just different uh, wearing down of our body. And so it also controls that, so it's a very strong antioxidant. And there's so many herbs out there, and they all have some antioxidant or some anti-inflammatory properties, but there's just nothing like the CBDA 
the raw CBD that goes to every cell in your body. Our body recognizes it. It's the only plant our bodies have receptors for, the cannabis plant. And so again, too, you've just moved into a whole different ball game than trying this little herbal combination. And I've been in the field of healing and working with herbs for too many decades to brag about now. And I've used every herb and herb combination and everything out there, and there's just nothing, nothing like the raw CBDA. And then another point of what the CBDA does for arthritis um, is that it, arthritis, like I say, anti-inflammatory problems and nerve damage, and that's where you get your pain. And the CBDA is able to repair nerves that have been damaged. It's also a neuroprotectant, can help protect your body from further damage from internal issues like the rheumatoid arthritis or MS and those sorts of things. But the biggest benefit that it has, and I always say, I don't know why it's not on billboards by now, is that CBDA is a neuroregenerator. It literally regenerates your nerves that have been damaged. And Justin had mentioned his son earlier. That is where we saw the miracle. Uh, at the beginning, after his regression into autism, uh, we had big batteries of tests by experts or whatever working with him. And at that point, he was nonverbal and his IQ was basically too low to measure. He was just below the standards to even get him onto the IQ chart. And after he'd been using the CBD and not even that long, he started at age four and by kindergarten, he was in a regular classroom uh, above average in all areas. And so literally that was neural regeneration of his brain. And one final proof of that was after he was, you know, back with us and his brain was functioning better, he actually could remember some things that happened before the regression. And so that absolutely shows that it was his brain that was regenerated. It wasn't that we were master teachers that could raise his IQ up 130 points, uh, that it was his brain regenerated. And so think of that regeneration for the nerve damage that you have with all types of arthritis. And then think of the CBDA's anti-inflammatory, again, to pain and nerves are inflammation and nerve damage. And so for both the osteoarthritis, which is a real common one, and then the rheumatoid arthritis, there's just nothing that has that full scope or wide range that the CBDA has, plus it's a natural healthy product. And so you're not going to have the side effects. Where I say the only side effects is, oh, your A1C is more balanced, your cholesterol is doing better, and you're not anxious and you sleep better. Um, so again, when you look at the holistic world of health and you look at the problems that aren't solved right now for arthritis, uh, CBD is that answer that we're looking for. And so I'm just hoping people at least explore the issue. If you have in-depth questions, uh, you can schedule an appointment with me online just at askjanet.org. Because I know it's a very complex area and we can't cover it quickly. I've tried to go as quickly as I could uh, in a short podcast. Uh, so please get a hold of us, call our offices, check out our website if you want to learn more about how the CBDA from hemp can help you with your arthritis. Good, good, good stuff. Love it, love it. Um, you know, for all the technical wizards out there. And and, and we live in a world now where, uh, our, our country, I should speak of, because um, there's definitely different perspectives and paradigms on health in other countries. Uh, but where it's like, well, there needs to be, where's the science, you know, and the science and the proof and all these kinds of things. And look, we set up a government agency called the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. And they're the ones that are supposed to make sure that that only good food products and good drugs, <laughs> kind of an oxymoron, uh, are, are, that we should be taking uh, in, into our body. And as we all know, um, you know, there's countries like France that, you know, or even Russia. I remember uh, reading a story, how uh, an article on how we sent them like some food uh, because they were in a bad situation in, in the 80s and the 90s. And they literally let the food sit at the border and rot. And it probably didn't rot too quickly because of all the preservatives and additives in there. But they wouldn't even take our food because it was so toxic and poison with the corn syrups and all the preservatives and the additives. And if you if you look at the labels, when you go to a place like France and you look at like what's in the cookies, it says eggs, flour, sugar, right? And it's like three or four ingredients. Or if you look at like a, a you know, a, a Pillsbury berry dough uh, chocolate chip cookie here, you're like, you need a doctrine degree to pronounce those words, right? Or at least have won a couple spelling bees when you were a kid. And so it's like, 
the FDA is obviously approving stuff that that we all know and intuitively that just isn't good for us uh, that we eat, and also that goes along with the drugs. But look, that's how it goes, right? Um, you know, hemp cannabis got uh, uh, demonized and made essentially illegal in 1937. Uh, when they passed the Congress of Marijuana Tax Act. And uh, and then really that's when um, the pharmaceutical model really started to take hold. And um, here we are. We have the FDA that approves. Um, uh, there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through. There's a lot of people that need to transact money. There's a lot of like, you know, there's a system that's in place that you have to pay millions of dollars uh, to do all these tests and things like that, where you can just isolate one particular molecule and you mean basically the efficiency only has to be like 40 or 50 percent which is if you guys have studied the placebo effect is about the same and so unfortunately it's a system that really is set up for this pharmaceutical model the fda in fact the fda is supposed to be regulating hemp and cbd um, but for some reason they're not number one they're not set up for it to, to to regulate something that is as big as the entire natural supplement industry, uh, the projections are that hemp and CBD is going to be equal or bigger than the entire natural supplement industry. Uh, and so they're, they're FDA set up to work with billion dollar companies. They're not set up to work uh, and regulate, uh, you know, supplements, let alone hemp. And so they've been dragging their feet now for over four years. Um, we passed the Farm Bill in 2018 to allow us to have free access to hemp and cannabis as long as there's less than 0.3% THC, which is the only part that gets you high, uh, that we can start to grow it. In fact, Ralph Nader put out a post this week that I uh, retweeted from Vote Hemp, which is a great organization, Vote Hemp, and uh, Eric Steenstra and everybody down there. And uh, basically said, there's all these articles and all these marijuana companies opening up and all these dispensaries and all these kinds of things and all this attention and in fact, Wall Street's lost billions of dollars trying to prop up the cannabis industry. But no one's talking about industrial hemp. No one's talking about the textiles. No one's talking about this regenerative renewable resource that we have that we can replace all of the toxic things that we use, like plastic bottles and all of the things that we could be making out of a renewable uh, energy source that's sustainable and cleans up the soil when it grows and cleans up the air as it grows and helps clean up our bodies from all the toxins that we put into our soil and uh, no one's really talking about it. So again, there, that's why we have this podcast. <laughs> we want to talk about the way things really are and let you kind of take that red pill to go down that Alice in, in Wonderland matrix moment to say, look, this is what's really going on because I know personally, I take a lot of things for granted. Like, oh my God, like there are people out there that don't understand what clean water is. They have no idea. It's not their fault. Who's going to teach them? I mean, how many ads are we seeing for figure out what your body weight is in pounds and divide that and buy two and drink that in ounces a day, right? No, I don't see that. Do you see that commercial? I've never seen that one. Who is teaching it? Are we teaching our kids at school to, to eat healthier, to really eat healthier? I mean, in fact, they got pizza on the food uh, pyramid. And my mom can speak to the, the, the craziness of the, the, the food that are, we're feeding our children at, at the school system as she was a school psychologist for decades and saw how that was being manipulated and pushed. So there's this is an awakening, right? This is an opportunity for you to actually have access to real information that's true, that's real. And basically a lot of it is if we just kind of rewound time a little bit, right? We hopped in that DeLorean and we go back to 1955 with Marty and that was a simpler time, right? We didn't have all the chemicals and the toxins and all the preservatives and everything that was so set up uh, against us, right? We ate whole foods, right? We ate corn. Remember, we sat down at the table and we sat there and we had some mashed potatoes and we maybe we had some meatloaf or, you know, we, we didn't have as many good vegan options back then. But we actually ate food, like really real food that you actually prepared at home that was grown by, from a local farmer. You know, and you got the nutrients from the soil and it wasn't full of pesticides and there wasn't these massive farms. And a lot of people were growing their own food, whether it was in their garden or from their local neighbor. And so it was a much simpler time where our bodies were much, much, much more efficient. Now, granted, it was, it was okay to smoke cigarettes, <laughs> right? So there's been plenty of bad players out there that have been making money on selling us things that was certainly damaging to our health. And again, why we're having this podcast, why we're giving away this product at freemiracleplant.com 
is so you can see for yourself a simpler way, right? An intuitive way, something that makes more sense to you. Before I go any further down the rabbit hole, I wanted to, to, to welcome a special guest that I saw that showed up. We are recording live on Clubhouse. Uh, we do it every 10 a.m. every morning on Saturday when I'm not at a baseball game. And uh, Shay had a wonderful season that we can talk about on another podcast. But Connie Wellick was another one of those people that uh, educated me on the power of this miracle plant. And she came up the stairs, similar to the story that I was telling before, with her husband, who was helping her up the stairs when she could barely walk. And she was the first person that introduced me really. I had no idea what neuropathy meant. I don't even know if I could have spelled I know I couldn't have spelled it. And I probably couldn't have pronounced it right. But when she came up those stairs, um, she was the one that, again, was fundamental in me understanding just how powerful this plant is with neural regeneration and anti-inflammation. So I want to welcome Connie to the stage and let her share a little bit more of her story. And she had mentioned something to me in a little chat here we have behind on the back channels here that uh, after it helped with her neuropathy, which I'll let her explain a little bit more, it also helped with uh, her arthritis afterwards. So Connie, welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Happy to hear from you again. Happy to hear your story again and share it with everybody. I know one of the side effects from using CBD is that my life got a lot busier because I can actually do stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, I, I was uh, back in 2018 when I had a bout of shingles that um, left me with uh, the whole side, my whole left side, basically with damaged nerves and it expressed in both my left, well, practically my whole side, but mostly in my left leg. And I, <clears throat> the damage was um, movement, shooting pains, burning sensation, um, sciatica. I had difficulty walking, standing, sitting. There was no way that I could get comfortable, um, especially, you know, with the shooting pains down my leg and uh, the pain in my lower back. And the doctor uh, pretty much uh, said that it is from the shingles virus. Normally it presents right where the shingles happened, but there's something called proximal neuropathy. I found out later that could absolutely be a result of injury. And then um, Right after that, I'd also had a fall. And so, you know, that combined uh, left me with a lot of pain. And it, it really was debilitating. I'm a grandma. I love playing with my grandkids. In fact, uh, one of the reasons Saturday mornings is usually tied up for me is I have uh, a little grandson, 12-year-old, who's playing in two uh, baseball leagues. And so normally I'm, I'm at a baseball game or I'm at a softball game or a soccer game um, now because I can do that. And you know, what's interesting is how much I took for granted um, the good help that I did have. And um, I had uh, a, a lifelong battle with eating disorders. So my eating had been really well, uh, I've, it was under control. Um, I, I did eat uh, meat and dairy, but only organic and grass fed and cage free eggs and all of that. I thought, you know, that that was going to be the answer um, to keeping me healthy as an older woman. I just turned 75 back in April. And um, my husband and I just celebrated our 48th wedding anniversary. So um, I was looking forward to lots of years of retirement, enjoying my grandchildren when this horrible neuropathy hit. So that's why it was so devastating to me, I think. I was also, the side effects from that were being depressed and not being able to find anything through my uh, pharmaceutical industry that would stop the pain. I did try... Um, several ways to uh, deal with the pain. I was already on a, um, an anti-inflammatory because of arthritis, and then um, this was just exacerbating my, my pain and uh, lack of ability really to stand more than five minutes, let alone walk. 
I had to get help, uh, as Justin said, going up the stairs. Well, how did I find this miracle plant? I had a friend who I uh, had a horrible back pain from an injury that she suffered. And she came to visit me. And one of the reasons why she came was because uh, there are no dispensaries for marijuana in uh, the state where she lived. So she would come uh, stay with me and we would go up to Ojai and visit a dispensary where she could legally get medical marijuana. And what she used were patches uh, for her back. She had horrible stenosis in her back and a, a terrible back injury. So uh, she suggested that I uh, try marijuana. Well, um, I am uh, a leader in the recovery community, so that was just out of the question. Uh, there was no way I was going to do that. But I went with her, and when we got home, she said, Connie, honestly, this is a very... Uh, wonderful product for healing pain. I couldn't be moving today if it weren't for, for these patches. And so she cut a little sliver off uh, this, the edge of this patch. And so I put it on the side of my leg and immediately I felt altered and I ripped it off. There's, I just cannot go there. And so uh, she left and it left me wondering, uh, and I'm kind of an information junkie. I love Googling and searching uh, for answers to things. And so I thought, well, I'm going to Google the active ingredient in this, this miracle plant. And I found that not, it, it's not just um, the, the uh, THC that helps with pain relief, but it's the whole plant together with all the terpenes and the various aspects of that. And so I set out a search to try to find something that didn't have the THC, but had all the other things. And lo and behold, 101 CBD came up and I thought, I, 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 I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what else to do. I'm going to try it. And so, uh, as, as Justin said, I climbed up those stairs. It seemed like the unending staircase. And it took me a while to get up those stairs. But once I got up, I have to say, you know, looking back, just the vibe of that room when I walked in uh, calmed me down. I, I felt like, you know, I'm in a safe place. This isn't a place that's going to try to sell me something or try to make money off my pain because I have been involved with people who have had those kinds of experiences. Um, sitting down and talking with Janet, and she explained how the plant worked. Uh, she assured me that it would not alter me in any way other than the side effects of good health. And, um, and she was, you know, praising me for already being on the road to eating healthy and doing the things that I needed to do to get my body in shape. Uh, as, such as yoga, trying to do yoga. It was very difficult for me to even do that. And uh, so walking back down the stairs, just as difficult. But I started taking the Alleviate in the morning and at night. Um, and then I also added uh, a few weeks later the Chill product to help me sleep because I hadn't had a good night's sleep by the time I started the product in about two years. And so... I started taking the chill just to get sleep. And it took, I call it the uh, resurrection juice. That's exactly what I called it because three days after I started taking it, um, I had my first full night of sleep in about two years. And that in itself was so uh, mind blowing to me. And as I uh, continued to take the CBD twice a day, little half dropper of this beautiful plant, um, I started noticing that I was walking better. I could stand longer. And long story short, um, it not only started me into um, an even healthier lifestyle, but it gave me the ability to do exercise, to actually uh, now, you don't know this, Justin, but... Um, our insurance company gives us a free membership to a gym. And so Randy and I both started going to the gym a, a few 
uh, weeks ago, and we now have a personal trainer. And can I just tell you that this old lady who couldn't walk up the stairs did four sets of 12 squats with a 10 pound weight. So I'm excited to um, just tell everybody the good news about this miracle plant. Um, I've since also uh, embraced a plant-based diet, following the recommendations that Janet gave just a few minutes ago, you know, with not mixing my proteins and eating my carbs first and uh, fruits first and all of that. And um, can I just say my life was transformed by this miracle plant and I am willing to tell anybody about it. Uh, you can email me at cwellick at aol.com and I will be happy to share uh, my experience, my strength and my hope in regard to this miracle plant. Um, thank you, Justin and Janet, for the, your generosity and giving this uh, miracle plant away for free so people can actually experience it. Thank you for your stories. Thank you for this podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the way that you are changing the world through this miracle plant. Well, thank that is thank amazing. You a pop in. So nice. I'm so glad you came. And we have to thank you, too, for your constant sharing with other people of your story and helping them also find solutions. And I, I think sometimes people see the miracle plant and think we're like, you know, exaggerating. It literally every day in the store, there's always somebody that comes in and they, they just come back every day. We always have our Kleenex still because when you literally change somebody's life by getting rid of their anxiety, allowing them to sleep, getting rid of pain, which just totally debilitates your body. Um, again, this is a plant that, again, we have to give thanks for that provides all those things. And then we honor that plant by keeping it. The state nature made it. Like you say, everything's still there. We didn't pick Absolutely. it, add things. Absolutely. And, and friends of mine have, um, have recovered from uh, anxiety, depression, uh, drug addiction. It helps with the, with the withdrawal symptoms from um, both pharmaceutical drugs and illegal drugs. I've seen miracles happen and it is a, res and that's why I call it the miracle plant. I call it the resurrection plant because that's exactly what it is. And, you know, uh, coming from the recovery community, I was a little hesitant, you know, just because of the, the, um, the bad rap that the plant has had over the years. And I was a little hesitant to, you know, like come out in public on social media, but the results are undeniable. And uh, like I told Justin in the, in the uh, chat is not only has the neuropathy, it's gone. Basically, my nerves have regenerated and to be able to do that kind of exercise, but also, um, you know, the arthritis that I have in my hand and I'll, and I'll tell you, you know, my, my thumbs get very tired at the end of the day from texting all the people that I know about my, uh, uh, my story. But um, yeah, even the, uh, uh, osteoarthritis in my back and also in my in my hands has improved since the miracle plant so you know the side effects of taking uh, CBD actually are really good <laughs> and if you want as, as Justin often says uh, they they help you feel better and uh, help you do better so thank you guys absolutely did you yeah. have something more to say? Yeah, thank here? you, Connie. And just again, too, I'm not like, there's just such in-depth conversations because everybody's issues are different. There's a lot of commonalities. And so again, too, just if you have questions, just please go to askjanet.org to set up an appointment to talk to me, either on Zoom or you can see us or video or Zoom, just audio only, uh, because it's a very complex issue. And more and more Americans are sick every day. I mean, like I say, if we have 54 million people with arthritis that have identified as that or have, you know, documentation of that through doctor's offices. And if your solutions are medications that have stopped your immune system from working well or stopped your digestion from working or replacing your hips and knees and bones or they're affecting your heart. I mean, this is a very, very serious side effect of what's going on in our society. So please, if we have a simple plant that's organic and holistic and healthy, 
uh, it's just really frustrating about getting the news out. So again, too, if you have in-depth questions about yourself or what you want to do, just please sign up for a uh, consultation. They're free. We're here to help in any way we can. Absolutely. And, and, and that's why we set up this podcast and, you know, Dan runs a, a hemp and cannabis podcast platform called Pon, podconx.com. And, um, and, and that's why we set up the podcast. Like literally, as you've heard the story from Connie, you know, firsthand account of these were the stories that I saw, you know, four or five years ago. And when I started to see these stories, cause you, you, it, you have to go back in time back then there wasn't, there wasn't as much information. There was a gray area on legalities. There was a, there was a, a 2014 farm bill that kind of let us kind of pilot program test growing hemp as farmers and seeing if there was a market for it. Uh, but then 2018 at the end of the year, it was, it was abundantly clear and it's explicitly well-written and passed through Congress and signed into law that hemp and CBDA is federally legal. Um, and what, when we started seeing these stories with rheumatoid arthritis and neuropathy and even cancer, um, it, it was a game changer for me. I mean, I, I felt so called to, um, to continue to pay it forward because I remember when I was in the depths of depression and fear and anxiety and not knowing if my son would be able to live a healthy, happy life not knowing if he'd be able to take care of himself, not knowing if he'd be able to go to school, not knowing like from a healthy, happy kid to like not knowing what his future held and, and through, you know, you know, having a, a good diet and, and, and through this miracle plant working together to heal his body, our bodies know how to heal. I mean, that's what, I mean, we're, <laughs> these are the most beautifully created things on earth. And we just have to make sure we're doing our part. And sometimes, you know, people just don't know. Like for those of you that are listening, like, you know, th there's things that you don't know. And what I would say, and what I say to many parents that we deal with and work with and interact with is, you know, trust your instincts. And just like I did, I trusted my instincts, just like Connie did. Like she continued to research. Like I want research. I want more information, you know, and, and sometimes that information does come from asking your friends and asking your neighbors. So. Uh, um, and uh, of things to see what's working there. But, but for us, it, it just came down to, um, you know, once we saw what this miracle plant could do uh, with, with Connie and with so many others, it was like, oh, that's why we reached out to Dan. And, and like, even to like, here's, I mean, it, it's, I know that the, 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 one of the most beautiful things about this podcast is that it's part of my legacy. It's part of Connie's legacy and Dan's legacy, and my mom, Janet's legacy is that this will be here forever. And people can always come back and listen and be like, these guys were talking about it way before, you know, and 30 years from now or 300 years from now, people can come back and listen to these and be like, well, these guys had it right then, way back then. Like, can you imagine all those people back then were taking all those harmful chemicals and drugs and the food they were eating and the water they were drinking and all that crap that they were doing? Like, oh my God, could you imagine having that be your paradigm just like we used to think that the sun rotated around the earth right and so this is why we have this podcast to share these insights to just give you the information and look the proof is in the pudding if you when you go to freemiracleplant.com there's a roll-on that will automatically throw into your uh into your cart uh, you just have to pick up postage and we will mail it to you for you to try it and when you roll that on your hands for arthritis or roll it on uh, if you have uh, any types of other pains or things like that, and you see that it works just like aloe vera for sunburn, that's your key to unlocking, taking control back of your health. So before we wrap up, I wanted to make sure Dan was here, uh, you know, helping with all the producing and the co-host. Did you have anything to add, Dan? I, I know we had a really long, great episode, but uh, you didn't get a chance to say anything yet. So I want to at least give you the floor for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just taking notes and when Janet was telling us, explain arthritis because I know I have a history of it in my family. So I'm always concerned that that may be something that I need to deal with. And she was so helpful sharing all that information. And as always, this, this show just continues to educate me with, it, with new information every day. And I'm so glad that we're, I'm part of it. Absolutely. Well, again, we can't thank you enough for 
providing the platform and producing the show. And I know you have dozens of other uh, cannabis and hemp related shows that uh, really are getting the message out. I was going to say, like, you guys heard about next door, like the, the little, like people were complaining about their neighbors. <laughs> so we were on next door for a long time and we had a little thing and a little business page. Uh, and so we were advertising on there and we, I don't know how much impact we were having, but we were having some. And so I decided to re up and do it again. It's like a hundred bucks and you can get your neighborhood. Well, I, as I re up, something changed on their platform and it didn't look the same, but I just still went through the process. And wouldn't you know, I got an email from next door that our account has been uh, disabled and we can no longer, it actually tore, they took down the business page and refunded the hundred bucks and said, no, the uh, CBD is illegal for us to advertise. And so still in this day and age, in 2022, right? This is documented, right? In May of 2022, a legal product that you can buy at Vaughn's folks, you can go to Amazon, you can buy it, you go to Vaughn's, you can go to a gas station, you go to a vape place, or you can go to a store that actually just makes CBD like ours. Uh, but it's completely legal and we can't advertise it. Now you can always read between the tea leaves there and figure that out follow the money but that's why we have this podcast because we last night we were working on other campaigns like facebook won't allow us to shut down another one of our accounts for a completely legal product as legal as corn uh, as corn and soybeans it's a vegetable folks it's a plant it's completely legal by passed by into law in 2018 in congress we're not allowed to sell it part of the reason is why is because the fda has not weighed in on it uh, again, we don't need to go into nefarious reasons, but uh, follow the money. And so, again, that's why we're so blessed to have this Miracle Plant podcast to continue to talk. Look, our, 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 our goal is to reach 1 billion people by 2025. And whether it's through organic outreach, by sharing this podcast with someone or liking this podcast or saying, hey, just listen to this. See if this resonates with you. Like, you know, I've heard you had some pain. Or I've heard, you know, you've been trying all these things and you haven't been happy. Or you see someone walking down the street or a friend who's got a limp or something. Just like, go try this free roll-on. Like, try it. And and let it be the, the Pandora's box for taking back control of your health. So, again, thanks everybody for joining us. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing this podcast. Thanks for being a part of it. Thank you, Connie, my mom, Janet, and Dan. And at the end of every Miracle Plant podcast, we say heal the world because that is our mission is to pay it forward for what this Miracle Plant did for our family. So what it can do for your family and the next family that you pay it forward to. So before we say heal the world, remember to go to freemiracleplant.com to get your free product. And we'll have some other products out there for you as well to try if you'd like to continue with that journey. But on the count of three, we're going to say heal the world. So others out there that are looking for a miracle, that are looking for a holistic, natural way to feel better and take back control of their health, that they will feel it, they will find it, they will hear it, and they will get to try this miracle plant. So on the count of three, let's say heal the world, everybody. Unmute your mics. One, two, three. Heal, heal the world. world. Woo! Woohoo! Thanks for coming by the Miracle Plan Podcast. We will see you next week, Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific. Take care of yourself and be a blessing, everybody. Adios. Hi, y'all. I'm Joe, host of Casually Baked, the podcast. If you're curious to explore the highly responsible side of cannabis, farming, and legalization, I'm here to help lighten the stigma and build your can of confidence. Download episodes now of Casually Baked the Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And journey with me through the evolving cannabis culture and discover how and why people like you are adding cannabis to their wellness toolkit. It's time to get casually baked.